What do you know about who his father was? I know for what his father was by New York Freddie, Freddie Myers, who ran that area over there. His lieutenant, Omar, used to finance, like, like we're giving block parties and things like that for the kids and everything. You, he had fish stores. He had uh, barber shops, beautician shops, um, restaurants and everything. So we was giving parties and everything, block parties, giving 100 bags back to the kids and stuff like that. Omar used to give us money to, to finance that. So now I, had, I think Freddie Myers had just came home from jail. He tried to talk to Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons wouldn't have a conversation with him. And Russell Simmons used to work for him before he went to jail because he was starting a record label himself, Freddie Myers. Freddie Myers said he told me that he had a glass table with nothing but $100 bills all through the glass table stacked up. And it was a glass table, $100 bills stacked up in it, like blocks of $100 bills. And then the glass table had $100 bills in it too. He said, I want to talk to you. Heard you was a good dude and everything like that. He said, I tried to talk to Puff, and I want to tell him the truth about his father. So this is a, a stand-up guy who did all his time and came home. He said, Puff father was a part of my crew. And I think it was Hollywood Harold or somebody who brought him in there. You understand? He said that Puff father um, ratted and snitched the crew out. And this is how he did it. They had a cop that was working for Freddie Myers' crew. They caught Puff father in something. And they gave the cop $10,000. And the cop brought them back the recording and the re written statement of what he said about the people or the members that he had in the crew. And Puff father doing that told the cop the only reason he was snitching because he <laughs> he had to make a, a, a wedding that he couldn't miss. Freddie Myers told the guy who brought him in the in the fold of the crew, yo, you got to get rid of him. Is Freddie Myers one of Nicky Barnes' associates? I don't know how associated they were, but I know Freddie Myers ran that whole area around there from the Frost Foster Project from 110th Street all the way to 118th Street. You know, now, did he have some dealings with Nicky? He, they all in the same business. You understand? Nicky Barnes leaves. He becomes an informant. Uh, Frank Lucas leaves. He becomes an informant. Right. So now, you know, you're saying the rumors that maybe his father was one as well. This is what Freddie Myers told you. Yeah, New York Freddie. Right. Is telling me. And he even said it. I think he said it in one of those documentaries he did. So now he said he told the individual that he had to get rid of him. He said, young fella. The dude that killed Puff Father was crying the hardest at the funeral, carrying a casket. I heard you say that. I heard you say that in another interview. Now, that came from Freddie Myers. Right. I didn't ask for that information. 